계속 진행될 거예요. 스타트합니다. 어. 이분 스트리머로 유명하신 분 같던데. 개막신망 자막이래요. <웃음> 슬퍼요. I play video games because I love stories. Experiencing worlds that you can't experience as yourself. I guess video games allow me to be what I can't. It's fiction, but it's not. You can come home, log on to your PC, and disappear into a different world. I am a part of something bigger, a part of something beautiful. As an autistic person, 저 블리자드가 이 영상 하나는 진짜 되게 잘 만든 것 같아. 리포즈드 리포즈드가 그거에 낚였죠 사람들이 시네마 시네마틱. 그쵸 시, 시네마틱이 너무 쩔어. <웃음> 예, 저는 그래가지고 와우 영화가 나왔으면 좋겠다는 생각을 많이 했었거든요. 그냥 소름 돋아요 진짜 너무 잘 만들어가지고 그니까요 와우 영화 보고 살짝 실망했는데 그래도 못, 못 만든 건 아니어가지고 어떤 사람들은 시, 시네마틱 블로그 와우 하시는 분들도 있고 스토리 블로그 하시는 분들도 많잖아요 아 저도 스타트 하고 싶었었는데 다른 게임 때문에 너무 할 시간이 없어가지고 어 키오스 나왔다 <웃음> 然后夺冠的时候先好的女性工作人员包括我们男的工作人员他们都哭了 <笑> We didn't really care that I was a gay male. But video games were my escape. When I was a teenager, my dad was diagnosed with ALS. And I looked to video games as a way to escape from that sort of reality. Everything happens for a reason, and I'm just glad video games were there for me. I'll never stop playing video games. There's no way. <laughs> 그쵸, 상관없어요. One day being 게임하는 거에 큰게 무슨 상관인가? Video games have shaped me. I don't think I would be who I am today. My passion, my interest, my excitement, they belong. Video games opened for me the world, and because of that, I'm forever thankful. And I can't wait to see what the next generation holds. Ah, <웃음> Overwatch는 아, 핵 때문에 망했다는 소리가 많던데. 맞아요. 핵이 핵이 문제예요. 핵. 무슨 무슨 소식이 나올지 궁금하네. 
while you were playing World of Warcraft. That's the awesome <laughs> thing about video games. They give us experiences that are relevant to the times in our lives. 아, 시방에 스타크래프트 나왔을 때가 어제 같은데. 그때가 제 중학 중학교 때였어요, 그때가. And they're here for us even when we feel alone or maybe uncertain. Games are coming home. Familiar, comfortable, with a connection and a sense of belonging. And while many of us spent most of 2020 in our actual real life homes, games became even more of a place to get away. 제가 제일 슬펐던 게 리포지드였어요. <웃음> 저도 옛날에 워크스 되게 좋아했었는데 리포지드 얘네가 발표했다 그러길래 오 되게 잘 만들었나 싶었는데 또 실망감이 많이 컸어가지고 and millions of you around the world. 리포지드가 제일 진짜 내가 볼때 블리자드한테 사람들이 실망감을 제일 많이 느꼈었던 것 같아. But nothing about the last year has been usual. The pandemic has been hard on everyone and for many different reasons. But if there's one thing that the last year has taught us, it's that being apart physically doesn't stop us from moving forward. It doesn't stop us from connecting with our player friends around the world. Diving in as warriors and heroes and checking on each other as humans. It doesn't stop us from sharing our latest epic gaming story or celebrating those of others. Games continue to unite us. Now, to be honest, I wasn't sure how well Blizzard could work from home. Oh, Blizzard도 재택근무 많이 하나 보구나. 아 맞다, 그랬던 것 같았어. In creating our universes, games, and experiences, never has it felt more true that it takes a Blizzard to make a Blizzard game. And in 2020, it became clear that the magic of creating a Blizzard isn't just tied to a physical location. It's tied to the people who work here, and I continue to be so proud of each and every one of them. Thank you, Blizzard. We create these games and pour all of our energy and heart into them, but it is you, the Blizzard community, that brings them to life. And that's why BlizzCon Line is a celebration of you, the guild leaders, healers, DPS, tanks, Innkeepers, Zerg, Terran, Protoss, Blackwatch, Shimada, the heroes of Sanctuary and of the Storm. These next few days are for you, our Blizzard community. Oh, Gideon Viking, guy, go. The stage is set. The green flag drops. Where, go? Now we're talking. What a play! Well. <laughs> the Blizzard Arcade Collection featuring the Lost Vikings, Rock and Roll Racing, and Blackthorn 
These are ports of the games just as you remember them, allowing you to relive the original experience of all three titles in 13 different languages with a couple of quality of life upgrades. As an example, we include very modern, cutting edge functionality that wasn't available in the early 90s. 기능은 현대 시계예요. and loading of games. And for those of you who purchased any Blizzard Digital Anniversary Bundle via Battle.net, you'll automatically receive the Blizzard Arcade Collection on PC today. Mm. Now, you ready to hear about some other video games? Let's hear what's next for World of Warcraft. Oh, it's down there. Okay. So, this is Cinematic. joining us today. No matter where you are, World of Warcraft unites us all. Whether you're exploring the Shadowlands, classic Ultra, or another part of the Blizzard universe, I'm glad you could make it. Because we've got a lot of good stuff to show you. But first, let's start with some Covenant pride. Kyrian, take flight! <laughs> Night Bay, let the hunt begin. Necrolords to war! Been there? Let's party! The world has thrown a lot at us since the last time. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. Do you have any of the people with all of you? Do you have any of the people with all of you? Guilds and family and friends in WoW are powerful and real. As WoW enters its 16th year and Blizzard celebrates its 30th anniversary, we're so grateful to have the most dedicated and friendly community. Let's recap the events in Azeroth. In WoW Classic, we fought an endless battle for South Shore and Torin Mill. We banded together to open the gates of Ankaraj and joined forces to take down Kel'Thuzad in his floating citadel of Naxxramas. In Shadowlands, we helped our Covenant recover from the Anima Drought, brought on by Sire Denathrius, Master of the Vinthyr, and traitor to the Pantheon of Death. We survived the Halls of Torghast and crafted legendary gear in our efforts to expel Denathrius from his castle lair. But innocent souls are still wrongfully being sent to the Maw. They face an eternity of torment, and heroes like Anduin remain chained in its depths. The Jailer continues to grow in power. He's preparing to break free from the Maw and complete his plan to unmake the entire Warcraft universe. And Sylvanas, you may be wondering what she's been up to all this time. Today, we're excited to unveil our first major content update for Shadowlands, mm. Chains of Domination. Do Ungan 필멸자가 왕입니다. 어느 모로 보나 한 평생을 바쳐 정의를 위해 싸운 자로 보입니다. 백성을 위해서라면 무엇이든 희생하는 자이며 정의롭고 참된 영혼입니다. 알겠다. 
허락하노라. 안두인 잘 컸네. 가까이 오거라. 승천자로부터 얘긴 들었다. 네가 바로 나락에 갇혀 있던 왕이로구나. 그 감옥도 절 영영 가둘 순 없습니다. 왜 승천의 보루에 온 것이지? 당신이 가진 열쇠가 필요하니까. 너는 당장 그 영혼을 풀어주지 못할까? 아니, 이자는 내가 속박한다. 네가 한때 이 형제를 구속하려 들었다. 바로 그 방식으로. 이게 새로운 타이틀인가 보네요. 음좀 이따 와우 채널 따로 해가지고 하나 보네요. <웃음> 그러니까 클래식 나와야 되는데 안 나오네 아직. 애완동물 클래식에서도 받을 수 있나? The first pet is bananas. Literally, he was originally available to a select few back in Burning Crusade era. So we're excited to give everyone a chance to adopt him. And if we reach our stretch goal, you'll also get Daisy the Sloth. She's an all-new pet who'll hang around your neck when you need a hug. Your donations during this campaign will go to support. 이건 어둠 땅만 해당되는 것 같아요. Organization Doctors Without Borders. Also known by their French name, Médecins Sans Frontières, or MSF. They're an amazing group doing important work around the world. We're grateful to have such a generous community, and we hope you'll help support this worthy cause. We'll be sharing the details about the charity pet program on the World of Warcraft website soon. So we've talked quite a bit about the Shadowlands. 나오나? 끝났다. 오케이. 클래식 나오네 이제. 나와 나와 이제 나온다. 나온다 나온다. 나온다. <웃음> 
I remember hearing that Blizzard was going to be making their own MMO. And I thought, well, I guess I'll check out that beta. And sure, we all call the game WoW. But really, WoW. I could not believe I got bit by the MMO bug again. I was so excited to be able to make a night elf hunter and be like that famous dark elf ranger from the books that I loved. I have to tell you, Azeroth was, and still is, a place I love to live. Since last year, I've had the great honor to work alongside the WoW Classic team to bring these nostalgic experiences back to life for longtime fans and a whole new generation of players. As a fan myself, I've had so much fun in WoW. From the simple things like drive-by buffing or making friends on that long haul from Teldrassil to Ironforge, all the way to the absolutely staggering, like when I jumped blindly through the dark portal and was running through oh, Hellfire Peninsula, heard this terrifying noise and then saw the Fell Reaver. Biggest roamer I had ever seen. And I was very glad I had feigned death in that moment. And that's the thing about WoW. These stories and experiences okay. we all share keep us coming back <laughs> time after time. With that said, I'm super excited to be able to share with you where our adventures are taking us next. 드디어 나오네요. 아, 이거 얼마나 기다렸던지. 감히 나의 영역을 침범하다니. 싸져 먹으러 가야 돼, 다 같이. 그걸 불순다. 무드라미 너희를 바벨로 이끌어내라. 내 피를 빨다가 차례나 돌려라. 침입자들에게 죽음을. 세상에 거꾸로 뒤집어지마. 너희는 아직 준비가 안 됐다. 여덟 대 나와. 빨리. Brings back so many memories, right? 여덟 대 나온 거야, 대체. Exploring the fungal forests of Zangermarsh or being chaotic magic alive in Netherstorm. The Draenei in Exodar. The Blood Elves in Silvermoon. I love playing them both. Do you choose to enlist the Elders or the Scryers in your quest to fight the Legion? And of course, we can't forget gathering all your friends to fight Illidan at the top of the Black Temple. I can't wait to relive it all with you. Since the team first set out on their own quest to bring the original WoW back to life, we have learned a ton about what players are expecting from this kind of experience. We've also learned 그러니까요. when to keep things just as they were, and where we all might be open to some changes. We're bringing all these lessons into Burning Crusade Classic with our primary goal to bring back the same feeling you had when you faced the Fell Reaver for the first time or when you were digging through piles of Fellhound poop. Of course, we can't get this right without you, our incredible community. Soon, you'll be able to revisit Outland yourself when beta starts and tell us what you think. Later, all WoW Classic players are going to be presented with a meaningful choice 
for each one of your beloved characters. 음, 이제 선택하는 거 나오네요. Do you want to move on into Burning Crusade Classic, or do you want to stay in the original Classic era forever? Whatever you decide, you can do it all with your one WoW subscription. Now, I know I've thrown a lot at you, but don't worry. We'll be getting into the details in our panel later today. So stick with us. We'll make sure you are prepared. Okay. And now we're going to hear what's coming up in Hearthstone. Ah, the Belden is a little bit of a little bit of a Greetings. We're truly excited to share with you everything that's coming to us this year. But first, let's take a quick look back at the year of the Phoenix. We added our first new class, <웃음> the Demon Hunter. We went into the ruthless 확정. Outlands. Then we went to Skullman's Academy and got to explore dual class cards and their powerful synergies. And with our third expansion of the year, we brought you Hearthstone's biggest update ever. Alongside the menacing old gods in madness at the Dark Moon Fair. We launched a brand new game, Jewels, that saw more than 10 million matches on its first day. We also introduced our long awaited achievement system and made a significant overhaul to the rewards and progression within the game. Now, it's time to say farewell to the Year of the Phoenix and see what's in store for Hearthstone this year. Welcome to the Year. Of the Griffin. Card game. Over the last couple of years, we've made big changes. Throughout the year of the Griffin, we want to keep delivering fun, new experiences, and make sure that the tens of millions of you playing Hearthstone are always excited to log in. First up, we'll be giving the standard format its biggest shakeup ever, with the launch of the Core Set later this year. The core set replaces the old basic and classic sets with a collection of 235 cards made up of some of the best from throughout the years, as well as 29 awesome wow, brand new cards. The best 나네. thing about the core set 나온다니까. is that it's entirely free. So there's never been a better time to get into Hearthstone. Here are three of Hearthstone's legendary dragons, reimagined to feel more up to date and competitive for modern day Hearthstone. Ysera the Dreamer. You'll finally receive her full arsenal of dream cards right away. She's a nightmare for your opponents. Malagos the Spellweaver. He'll fill your hand with spells and is a powerful late game play, worthy of the aspect of magic. And finally, everyone's favorite black dragon. Deathwing. He's still as destructive as ever, but timed correctly, he won't leave you empty handed. We'll also be launching a brand new format, Classic, where you can play Hearthstone as it was when it first launched. The Classic <laughs> format we fully supported, using Hearthstone's original set of cards. So, if you want to relive the old school experience, then Classic is the place for you. With Classic revisiting the past, now let's take a look to the future and explore the first expansion of the year of the Griffin. Mohomul Oh, 
전사 깊이 새겨두게 하라. 불모의 땅에 카드팩으로 나온구나. That's right. We're heading to one of Warcraft's most iconic locales, the Barrens, and we'll come face to face with the heroes that inhabit it. Starting with one of the Horde's most iconic and well-known characters, a fierce loyalist, one-time war chief that embodies the honor, loyalty, and spirituality of the Horde, Shadowhunter. Vol'jin. Shadowhunter Vol'jin is a neutral legendary that allows you to either bolster your own board or weaken that of your opponents. And to celebrate the announcement of Forged in the Barrens, this card is available for free for everyone later today. So log into Hearthstone and claim your free copy of Shadowhunter Vol'jin. And as a bonus. We're also giving away the brand new 30 years of Blizzard card back. Next, we have another hero of the Horde who is making his first appearance in Hearthstone. The legendary Blade Master Samuro, featuring the new keyword Frenzy. Frenzy activates the first time a minion takes damage and survives. In Samuro's case, this can be used to clear your opponent's board. Heroes of the Horde, like Samuro, are famous for their combat prowess, but others, like Thrall, are known for their powerful elemental magic. Take a look at this new shaman spell, Chain Lightning. <laughs> Chain Lightning is a spell in a new cycle of cards that rank up and become more powerful when you have five and ten mana, ensuring that they're always useful at every stage in the game. You'll also notice that they're categorized as nature spells. With Forge in the Barrens, we'll be permanently introducing spell <laughs> schools across the entire game, which enables a whole host of exciting new strategies. And don't worry, members of the Alliance will be featuring some of your most beloved heroes and locales uh -huh. later this year. But what I love most about the Warcraft universe is its amazing characters. And our final announcement is our most ambitious addition to Hearthstone yet. It introduces a brand new way to play with your favorite heroes. Hearthstone Mercenaries. Mercenaries features strategic RPG gameplay, where you build teams consisting of some of the most iconic heroes and villains from the Warcraft universe, including timeless characters like the infamous Sylvanas Windrunner, and Ragnaros, the elemental lord of fire. You can also expect to see some of Hearthstone's fan favorites, like the unstoppable Devil Sword, King Crush, and the ever growing Gruul the Dragon Slayer. You'll lead them in battle through highly replayable roguelike missions, where the map is randomly generated every time you play, and each node represents a unique challenge. For your team to take 도, on. Your heroes gain levels, 도전게임. new abilities, equipment, and can even evolve into more powerful versions of themselves. With thrill to finally show you her stories, it is scheduled to launch later this year, and we'll have more to share with you down the road. Everything you've seen today is just a taste of what's coming in the year of the Griffin. So don't forget to tune in to our deep dive panel after the opening ceremony. Where we'll share more details on the Corsair, the new classic format, Forged in the Barrens, and our plans for Battlegrounds and Duel, as well as our upcoming single player content. I want to thank the team for their amazing work. And on behalf of all of us <laughs> at Hearthstone, we want to thank the many millions of you who play our game. Your dedication and support is what drives us to make awesome updates and pursue ambitious and fun ideas. We can't wait to kick off the year of the Griffin with all of you, and we hope to see you in the game soon. Next up, you'll get an update on all 나오네요. things Diablo. 저도 디아블로 3가 있는 유저예요. 
Thank you very much for joining us. I am so excited to kick off the Diablo segment of our show. And I am honored to be here on behalf of all of our Diablo teams to share the news and updates we have in store for you today. We've got a lot of Diablo to cover. And I hope you'll agree with me that it's a great time to be a member of this community. Alright, let's 많더라고요. kick things off 보니까. with Diablo 4. We first shared our game with you during BlizzCon of 2019, and we've been truly humbled by your response. We've kept in touch through quarterly updates and sincerely appreciate the thoughts and valuable feedback you've provided as we unveil more and more of the game and share in its development. After all, Diablo belongs to you as much as it belongs to us. Most recently, we teased an update to our campfire screen, and savvy fans, of course, understood that we meant more than just the character lighting and fire visual effects. That's right. Today, we're happy to announce a brave new soul joining the Barbarian, the Sorcerer, and the Druid on this dangerous journey back to Sanctuary. A class is one of the most exciting things you can announce in a Diablo game. This one is especially exciting to me as it's a re-envisioning of one of the first classes to ever appear in the series. Let's have a look.
역시 블리자드 게임은 시네마틱인 것 같아요. 도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도도
그래픽 확실히 좋아졌네. 스위치랑 단어. After more than 20 years, the Dark Wanderer has returned, and once again he travels east, always east. Diablo 2 is a landmark game for Blizzard. Diablo 2 Resurrected is a full HD remaster of both the original game and the expansion Lord of Destruction. It takes the 2D sprite-based classic that we love and brings it into the present in 3D, utilizing up-to-date graphical rendering and lighting technologies. It also includes modernizing all 27 minutes of cinematics. Recreated shot for shot with the explicit intention of preserving both the look and the pacing of the original movies. Blizzard has a long history of games that we're proud of. And when we think about Diablo 2, we think about it as a definitive pillar in our foundation. Now, it's funny to think that some of you weren't even born when D2 was released. Which makes it all the more important that we deliver an authentic experience wherever you play. We want everyone to relive their memories or experience the game for the very first time on their platform of choice. And so we're excited to bring Diablo 2 Resurrected to PC and console along with cross progression. And for those of you who are in love with the original, and you just wish it worked more seamlessly on modern computers, you can bring back all of that nostalgia exactly as you remember <laughs> and enjoy the game in its original 2D form, much like we did with StarCraft Remastered. Obviously, there's a lot to talk about. Later today, Diablo speedrunner Mr. Llama will host a roundtable with members of the development team on the dedicated Diablo channel. If you are a Diablo 2 fan, I encourage you to take a look. So, from Diablo 2 Resurrected, to Burning Crusade Classic, to the Blizzard Arcade Collection, it's a whole lot of looking back. And while we have teams dedicated to bringing these timeless experiences into your hands, it's actually a very small percentage of our developers working on these projects. Far more people are working on the future of Blizzard. And in addition to what we'll be talking about during the show, we can't wait to tell you even more about our plans over the course of this year and beyond. If you had asked us 30 years ago what gaming would look like today, none of us could have predicted the current Blizzard lineup of games. The advances in technology are one thing, but it's really what those advances have enabled that's even more incredible. If you think about the people who play games and the communities that have grown up around them, the way people can connect instantly, no matter where they are in the world, the way people are increasingly able to express their identity and celebrate who they are through their favorite games, communities, and platforms. The explosion of things like streaming, cosplay, and esports. It would have been hard to imagine any of that 30 years ago. And at Blizzard, that is what excites us about the next 30 years. There is so much that we're working on. And some of it you already know about. The rest, we look forward to talking to you about it when the time is right. Just like the real world, the worlds of Warcraft, Diablo, Starcraft, Heroes of the Storm, Overwatch and Hearthstone are diverse, expansive, and full of potential. We are not only iterating on the experiences that you've come to expect from us, we're also exploring different ways to express our worlds and welcome more players from more places into them. And we aspire to continue to lead on priorities like accessibility and toxicity. <laughs> to continue supporting causes that have a positive impact on the real world. We want to continue to bring those same feelings of joy and achievement that we all felt when we first defeated the Lich King. We'll be the outcome of our work. We'll be the outcome of our work. We'll be the outcome of our work. Because 
when we geek out on those experiences with others, 과거 클래식의 그 GM 서비스가 그립기도 한데. Of course, there are new Blizzard worlds that we haven't visited quite yet. And when we do finally unveil those games and experiences, our hope is that you will see in them what we do. That no matter who you are or where you're from, they are spaces where you can create new stories, forge new friendships, and make memories worthy of lasting a lifetime. And through it all, our mission statement of being dedicated to creating the most epic entertainment experiences ever, along with our core values, led by gameplay first, will continue to guide our way. So on behalf of everyone at Blizzard, thank you for being on this journey. For me personally, it is the honor of my professional life to serve you. And the honor of all of us at Blizzard to be the caretakers of the worlds that you play in. We are so excited for what's to come this year, next year, and the next 30 years. Now, what's coming next for the show? Well, it depends on where you watch. For those of you looking for an update on Overwatch, Check out the behind-the-scenes look into the development of Overwatch 2 over on their dedicated channel right after the conclusion of opening ceremonies. There, you'll hear about Overwatch 2, new content, new features, including new maps, hero missions, talent trees, and more of what we think will make Overwatch 2 a unique experience. For World of Warcraft, Diablo, and Hearthstone, you'll get a closer look on their respective channels. And on the dedicated strategy channel, some StarCraft legends will be going head-to-head -head in epic competition. Once again, welcome to BlizzCon Line. Be good to one another. Welcome home.